Zeke Montgomery and Joseph Abelow. Just one heads up last year against PC. Joseph Abt had 16 points and five rebounds, so he's familiar with the game that's up ahead. Okay, Joe. We'll open up to questions. Okay, Joe. Joseph Abt, what do you remember about that game last year? Um, it was a great environment. First and foremost, great environment. Like, Jim was rocking, and uh, it was really exciting. It was really exciting, and it was a tough game. You know, PC was a great team. It was, it was, uh, it was really the highlight of my year for real, as far as the environment and the game. Excited to be able to be back for it. Yes, sir. Too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you guys feed off of like a an environment like that? You know, when that when that does take place, I'm sure it's it's different from what you see the rest of the year. Yeah, yeah, for sure. As a competitor, like that's that's what you're looking looking for the environment. Yeah, for sure. Just about, uh, yeah, eight minutes. How do you feel right now, physically? Uh, I'm nowhere near like 100%, but it's getting better though. It's getting better. Body, body feeling better. Legs start to feel better. Um, started getting better shape, so I'm excited. How, how do you feel like the day after the, the Yale game or whatever? Did you, did you bounce back pretty well? Yeah, I, I bounced back pretty well. Yeah, I felt good. I felt good after the game. Archie has talked a lot about the work that you put in to get back after your injury. What was that process like for you? Uh, just rehab, being in the training room multiple times a day, stretching on my own after I got my own recovery routine. So it was just putting a lot of hours, a lot of hours. Um, you know, even on vacation, I wasn't really, even when we went home in August, I, I didn't. I wasn't really home. I, I was in Paris doing rehab too, so I wasn't. I didn't really see my family like that. So just sacrifice and just put a lot of time in. Do you have any setbacks, or, or was it smooth? Nah, it was smooth though. Smooth process. Zeke, the uh, <coughs> Saturday is going to be a full house. I think your first uh, playing in front of your first sellout, and also a really hostile environment. What's your thoughts going into that kind of? Uh, just to go in there and compete as hard as I can, do whatever I need to do to help my team succeed, and just go out there and compete, do what Coach asked me to do. Do you think a big crowd like that has an influence on the on the on the game or on the players? Uh, uh, yeah, I guess it. Some to some people maybe it may have a little difference, but to me it don't. It's not really a difference to me. Like I'm I'm used to it, so. Just how about the, the growth that you guys seem to, to show, especially in that second half against Yale? I mean, how big was that you know, win for you guys to be able to, you know, have a have a moment like that? Uh, the the win against Yale uh, last game, it was pretty good. It let us know, like, if we stay together, we can be an absolute great team. And that's the main thing Coach been saying, just stay together. If we stay together, we would be in almost every game. So. I know, Mohegan. I asked you about your experience in the NIT last year, and, and you said, you know, I'm going to try to get my teammates to, to believe like I do, to, to feel that they can play enough games like, like I can. Did you see some of that maybe someday? Definitely. Uh, in the second half, it definitely came out. I felt like everybody started to buy in, like we can get this done. You know, everybody started playing hard. And then, you know, Joe came in, helped with his – being older, be one of the older guys on the team, you know, him playing hard, it just showed us, like, you play hard, then, you know, good things will happen. What does that second half of the Yale game just bring? How much energy does it bring for this week of practice coming up for this, you know, game? Uh, it, brings a, it brings a lot of energy because we know what we can do and what we have did. So, you know, coming into a hostile environment, I think that helped us a lot. What you have know. you seen from afar, Cliffs, maybe, about this rivalry that sticks out to you? Uh. I just know it's going to be a tough one. Everybody keeps saying it's going to be a tough one. So I'm just looking forward to go out there and compete. What's the biggest crowd you have played in? What's the biggest game coming to you? Uh, my biggest game was probably Arkansas last year. That was probably like my biggest game. That was sold out. I think it was like 17,000. So I played in front of a couple of good crowds. So. Can you guys, go ahead. Zeke, if you could, uh, from a teammate's perspective, talk about Joe and since you got here, watching him 
go through the process of getting to where he can contribute this year? Uh, what do you think of his trail so far? Uh, me coming in, not knowing that Joe would be able to like start the year off with us, you know, uh, just looking at him every day coming into the training room, like I'm seeing him, he's in the training room more than what I am, you know, he's getting extra lifts, he's my, he might lift two times a day, you know, just getting his body right is something that I try to like get into the flow of too, like basically like take some of his schedule and put it in my schedule, that's what I be trying to do, so it's been a process. You guys will be the underdogs Saturday. and. Yeah, uh, I definitely use that as motivation. Like nobody know what we can do, so like they got us ranked fourteenth in the in the conference. So like that's just motivation. Like I know as a team that we're good, we're better than that. But we just gotta go out and show that, be the underdogs. Like and just accept it, accept the challenge. Just uh, you hear a lot about Maduro and Hopkins down low for for Providence. You know the bigs. Yeah, uh, watching them getting ready for this game, does that give you an extra motivation that to, to say, uh, hey, those people are talking about those two guys, I'm going to do something about it? Not no extra motivation because I approach every game the same. Like, I, I'm motivated for every game. But, like, it's always great to play against a great player and show that you definitely I want to show that I can guard them and that I can change the game for sure. You guys, uh, just rivalry games. I mean, what do you, what do you think the biggest keys are? Trying to keep in balance, not get too hyped. Not, how do you sort of manage, I guess, that intensity? Um, I say just, uh, I don't know. Uh, I say just take it one day at a time, not to look too far into the game, because you know, if you get too caught up in playing into the game, you might miss a couple things, like a couple details that we need to win. So, just like taking it day by day. Nice record against TC here in Kingston this season. I think that. Um, but in Providence, the male home team, the record's not very good. Um, is there something about you have enough experience to know on Providence playing there, their home court advantage? What What is it that makes it so hard to win? I can't answer that one, guys. <laughs> I'm not sure. Just a reminder, none of these guys yeah, know. have Another played in that game in Providence. Uh, Joe Smith's only been there once, right? Yeah. It's okay. Zeke, what's the key? I know there's not there's not many defensive guards who have played like Devin Carter. What have you seen on film of him that is important? Obviously, he's ball control. But what's another thing that you see that he does that makes him so effective? Uh, like on the defensive or yeah, offense? Defense. Yeah. The defensive end, uh, you know, they just play aggressive. He just plays aggressive, you know. He try to speed you up, try to make you do things that you're not used to doing. So just being comfortable, not letting him speed me up or speed our guards up. How important is it? Because now that you have uh, different guys who can handle the ball, so just give him different looks when he's on defense. How, how important is that to you? Uh, it's very important, you know, just to give him different looks so he know. Like I know they scouting us, so we just gotta just try to make him work as hard as possible on defense and make our job easier, not to get too rushed, just play the game, just play basketball. Coach Miller has said that the players that play hard, particularly on defense, are the ones that are going to get playing time. Um, how, how is that settling in with the players? Do you see a difference in, in practice? You saw a difference in the second half against Yale. Um, how is that message coming across? How is it being received, or how is that settling in with the players? Uh, I think our guys are doing a great job, actually, settling in on the defensive end because you know like our offense is not going to be there all the time. You just going to have to make plays on defense. And right now, I think everybody's doing a good job of actually buying in on the defensive side instead of offense because our defense will lead the offense to make our offense more easy. You guys are good and your defense runs the offense. When you get out running, boy, it's a lot of fun to watch. Mm -hmm. uh, did you get the stops to do it, huh? Yeah, yeah, right. that's what Coach Archie's preaching, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Buzz, kind of, kind of, you know, students and classmates sort of talk to you about 
game and sort of giving it sort of a feel for? Or what, what's kind of the yeah, the most definitely. Uh, you hear in the calf, oh, y'all y'all ready for Saturday? Stuff like that. Everybody asking for tickets. <laughs> yeah, I went so, to yeah. I went to Roadhouse uh, yesterday. She was talking about the game, talking about the prop game. Said it was gonna be a tough one. So like, yeah. everybody's looking forward to this game. Yeah, you know, everybody talking about it. Most most definitely. Any final questions? All right, guys. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it, guys. Yep.